Hello recorder friends and welcome back. Summer is over and we've all gone back to work, to school, to whatever we were doing. And I thought, yeah, I'm gonna start the academic year with a very big challenge for the, for the coming month. And I thought, yeah, maybe I could tackle this uh, one minute, 10 minutes, one hour challenge. I picked Fantasia number 11 by um, Telemann. Um, I use the version from this book, the Baroque solo book, which I've owned for 20 years maybe. It's, it's really great, great stuff. Uh, back in the days when I was in uh, music school, I played Fantasia number one and Fantasia number 10. And here on this channel, I played Fantasia number three and Fantasia number seven. So Fantasia number 11, it's my fifth Fantasia. Um, yeah, needless to say, I love Telemann. Uh, he's a great uh, composer for the recorder. Why Fantasia number 11? I can't say. Uh, it was either Fantasia number 11 or number 2, but number 2 has had 3 flats. Fantasia number 11 only had uh, 2. So Fantasia number 11 it is. What do I need? My recorder, a score, a music stand, a pencil. An eraser, my phone with a timer to time myself, a metronome, which to be honest, I won't use because I never use metronomes, but you never know. And and Spotify, in case I want to listen to recordings, a hair tie. Fantasia number 11 being so long, I think I will only have a look at it. So, good to go. So I'm marking the lowest notes and the highest notes. The progression. There's always a lot of progression in Telemans and Dejas. That's it. One minute.
I guess there are a lot of communication and dialogues between the lower notes and the highest notes and I have to figure out which, what, what this is. Mm. I'll just have a look at the vivace. Okay, I could discern some ideas, um, some patterns, but it's not that. Okay, Allegro. I mean, the last parts of the Fantasias are always the funniest. I just, I just love them. I guess I'm gonna focus on that part. I'm gonna try everything, but I think for the 10 next minutes, I'm gonna try focus on that one. So, 10 minutes. Just marking the places I must uh, breathe. My nail is too long. Distinguishing both lines. So one is going this way. And the other one is. 
So I have to amplify the lowest notes and just give a big, a little twit on the on the bees. <laughs> changes. Okay, the end is a, a, a chord. That's what I can see. But I can't make up the structure of the last bar, so it's like because I, I can't hit the high notes, so I'll be back. That's a nice F. That's a nice G. So if I want to play, it doesn't squeak anymore. Yay! Let's do the Allegro, the last section. Intonation, articulation is going somewhere. Um, I'm still surprised by a few notes, but yeah, all in all, I think it's not bad. Well, no, it is. I must admit, I'm, I'm exhausted, really. <laughs> I didn't think it would be that exhausting. It really is. Maybe because it's a wind instrument, but yeah, I don't know. Would it be the violin? Would it be my arm? 
my neck. This is the one last time I played for today. I'm gonna play it on my good wooden recorder. But uh, I haven't played, I just warmed it up and it might clog. So if it clogs, I will carry on with a plastic recorder. Okay, and I must say, one of the trickiest fingering for me is in the first, very first bar. So I hope if if I mess that up, um, I I will keep the motivation to to carry on. I did listen to um, Eric Boschaf's uh, recording, Fantasia number eleven. Of course, I couldn't keep up. He plays too fast, and he plays in a A um, four fifteen. I play in A four. Uh, 42. Let's go.
I'm sorry. I lost uh, I lost my focus um, somewhere. So uh, I had to replay some sections and parts of it, but all in all, it wasn't bad after one hour of intense practice. I think I have a lot of things in my in my fingers already. Uh, not for today. Today, today I'm done. Well, I think this kind of challenge is really good to um, to give you a boost to to start a new piece. I wouldn't do it every time uh, because yeah, it's really intense. Um, thank you for. Um, uh, having accompanied me uh, during this journey, um, I think I'm gonna have a cup of coffee or tea right now because <sighs> it was just so hard. It was fun and rewarding. So, uh, yeah, why not uh, try this challenge yourself? Uh, record yourself, maybe not on YouTube, but on your uh, smartphone or for your personal archives. And um, just um, see the benefits of playing uh, a piece uh, from scratch, learning a piece from scratch in one hour, plus 10 minutes, plus one minute makes one hour and 11 minutes. So um, hope you enjoyed. I enjoyed it. And see you later on the recorder enthusiast. Bye.